I find myself at Clanton No Junction again. I'm running out of places to film intros here. I'm visiting every station on the North Wales coastline. We're heading west from here today and it is going to be absolutely beautiful. The train's coming shortly. Let's go and jump on it. This is the bit of the trip I've been most looking forward to. We're only out here for like eight or nine minutes until the first station. Main Mower and, and I imagine this would have an amazing view if the A55 wasn't there. The coast is just on the other side of the busy dual carriageway. Now, this is a very 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 nice station but the plan from here is to actually see that massive headland there we're gonna walk around that to the next station. This is a cute station I like it. Can we just stay here? Can we stay here? Are you in your happy place? Am I just becoming a meme at this point? I'm in my happy place. And a Voyager ruins the day! This is a really, really, really nice station, like, but it's not a station for tall people. Like, I'm not exactly a tall person, but much more height, and I might be banging my head. Like, the, the detail in the painting and everything, it's just a nice station. These raise more questions than answers. Oh, hello. Hello. I like, I like very much. If you find yourself here, come onto the bridge. Don't just walk out of the station. Look. Everyone has a favorite road, don't they? Mine is definitely the A55 all along the coast here. But actually being here on foot makes me not like that road's existence. It's kind of taking away from the mood here. So it's gonna take about an hour and a half to do this walk. So I better get walking. So up and down the coast along here, you've got all of these like conveyors that bring material down from all the disused, well, the now disused quarries up there. So it comes down under all the various roads like this one. And then over on this side, this particular one, I believe, was just to serve the railway, which is down there. There's a few others that go down to like piers in the sea, etc. <gasps> Friend! Hello! Oh, hey, Mum. Oh, Friend. Friend is not so sure. He's good. He's okay. Before the main dual carriageway down there opened, this was the main A55 to Bangor and, and Ireland. That must have been hell. That's a bit big. I'm really getting an appreciation now for kind of like how much the A55 has ruined this area. It's noisy, it's loud, and just basically to get English people to the ports. That looks like a nightmare place to get on the road. Yeah, don't fancy doing that. Anyway, Clan Ververhand that way. <laughs> it's a bit noisy here, but this is one of the three penny clip tunnels. This is the latest road tunnel built in 1993 to add a second carriageway. The eastbound carriageway is what was the original road. There's a tunnel on there that is from 1935, noisy lorries, and the railway tunnel is from 1850, the first route through the area. Now we're about to walk on Thomas Telford's original route around the headland. So if this is now just the eastbound carriageway, why are there signs pointing in this direction? It's because when they closed that tunnel for maintenance and stuff, they put a contraflow on here so traffic can and does flow that way as well. The same can be done in the tunnel, traffic can flow both ways. But normally, it's just eastbound traffic only here. If we wanted to, we could walk alongside it through this crossing, but 
no, just no. Let's go and take the cycle route. I expected it to be a bit nicer up here. It's been upgraded in the noughties as a easier cycle and pedestrian route through the headland. Feels like it could be nice. It's a shame about all the car noise. The views are stunning. Finally, a wall low enough to lean on and look longingly out to the sea. I love Wales. Everything about Wales is fantastic. So the route that is now the footpath, we're on top of one of the older tunnels right now. This is Thomas Telford's original route across North Wales. And considering it was built back in the day, quite some impressive work to get this in here. Just so beautiful. So down there, you can just see the eastbound carriageway on what would have been the 1935 viaduct. And just beyond that, even lower down, closer to the sea, is the railway line. So they put this bench in front of the bit with the least view. They didn't think this through. Here on the other side of the headland, it gets noisy again. With the 1993 tunnel coming out there, the original route there, we find ourselves coming onto a bridge, finding our way to that place. This is nice. The sun wasn't forecast today. I'm so glad that it's come out. The railway is just up there on top of this big seawall. I wonder if that gets battered just as much as Dawlish. It's sunny. It's a gorgeous day, but it's also raining. I love you, Wales. Never change. So I've decided Clamford Rahan is very, very underrated. You should come here, definitely. And this is why you do these little challenges to visit every station. So you come to the places you wouldn't normally come, because I would never think to come here. This is absolutely beautiful. Come here. And let's go to the station. This is very pleasant. The sound of a river flowing into the sea the sea being just over there. But just amongst these nice, pleasant sounds, I can still hear the A55. So we've made it to Clan Fairfahan. I think I'm saying that roughly right. It's kind of a nothing station let down by the massive wall at A55 there. God, I've learned to hate the A55. Our next train is in five minutes to take us to Bangor. So while I'm here at Clan Fair for Hound, it seems like the perfect opportunity to say a massive thank you to my lovely, lovely Patreons. They're scrolling on the screen right now. You're making videos like this possible. Thank you so much, guys. If you want to get your name onto this list, the links to do so are in the description, but thank you so much. Clan Fair for Hound. I love the town, village, sea, hate the station. Any minute now, my train's going to come around that corner. Any minute now. These used to be request stops, but they haven't been for, I think, about a year now. Um, speaking of that, train. Bangor. This is pretty. Like, there's literally a tunnel there. And, and then if we spin the camera around, there's a tunnel there. It's like flanked by tunnels. The station's nice as well. I, I really like Bangor as a city. I, in my 
twenties, spent some time here when a friend was here at uni. Oh, what it was like to be young. Also very notable here. There's an old platform there and there's very much an old platform on the other side of there. It looks like a, a situation that we had in um, Newton Abbott where that platform is now a car park because we've got to park the cars. So this is Bangor Station. Join me next time. We're going to continue east towards Hollyhead and that station you're hoping that I'm going to pronounce. I'm going to leave a link just here to the next video that I think you should watch. But until next time, bye bye.